No, we are not against tests. As Dennis said, we're teachers, we invented tests. But we believe the results of tests should be used for what they were designed to measure. No, commercial, mass-produced, industrial strength, standardized factory tests should ever, may I just say ever, ever, never be used as the determining factor in any, any, any high-stakes decision on any level for any child or any adult. Basta ya, enough is enough. fighting for what's right, but we will never be silent about what is wrong. So many of my friends have given up. You know their names. You know people who love this profession, and they left it because of this phony so-called accountability system. It broke their spirits, it broke their hearts, and they left. Rather than feel complicit, in hurting their students and demeaning their profession. And I can't find it in my heart to blame them, but I'm not talking to them because none of them are in this room. I'm talking to you. You stayed. You didn't give up. And you knew it wouldn't be easy. It won't be easy to stand up to billionaire bully brothers who want to destroy our voice and billion dollar edgy businesses who will subvert true high standards by selling packaged products for everything that can reduce a student's opportunity to learn to what will fit on a commercial multiple choice test. It won't be easy to fight the germ, the global education reform movement, the corporate model, deprofessionalize, privatize, standardize. It won't be easy to lead a movement towards that whole and happy child. So that child has a chance to be a whole and happy adult. But we know what we need, equity, measuring what matters, personalizing and humanizing education by giving us, the educators, the authority, the competent, caring professionals on every building level to do what individual students need us to do. It won't be easy, but I'm inspired by people who've had, had it tougher than we have it, as tough as this is. I'm inspired when I remember reading an interview with a teacher who was a leader in the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa, a black woman who taught in miserable conditions every day, and every night she would go home and she would organize communities to fight injustice. And when someone said, how can you do this? without losing your mind? How can you do this without breaking your heart? How can you go up against these odds? And she said, you need three things. You need to be a little crazy. <laughs> you need to find a whole lot of people who are as crazy as you are. And you need to never be afraid. We are all a little crazy. <laughs> Look around you. We are not alone. <laughs> and we are fearless because we have each other. It's all we've ever had. It's all we ever will have. And it is exactly what we need. We will lead to a movement of the whole child. And I know we can do it. Si, se, puede, si, se, puede, si, se, puede, si, se, puede. Adelante, sin miedo, forward, no fear. Mil gracias, mis hermanos y hermanas. Gracias.